How's it going guys, JP here, and this is going to be a quick little video response to the Tattoo Doorman. He made a very interesting video talking about shoutouts, and um, I kind of had my own opinions on shoutouts, and I figured I would, you know, throw my opinions into the mix. Um, he asked a few questions, and uh, I figured I would, you know, make a video response, so check out his channel below, I have a link. Um, shoutouts, so... Do shoutouts, what do they do? You know, the, are they effective? Do they really do anything or do they do nothing at all? Um, I think shoutouts are hit and miss with things. I believe if you shout out somebody who has a, you know, is fairly new to YouTube or, you know, doesn't, uh, hasn't been around long, I feel like it seems to work a bit better if you shout out somebody who's already been established on YouTube and a lot of people know about. Um, we, you know, which is quite obvious. Uh, you know, you have somebody who more people would likely know, and then somebody who people would probably not know. So it only makes sense that the person that people don't know would end up gaining more subs off of a shout out. The way people shout out people, I think that that has. Uh, uh, you know, effect on it because my shout outs are usually just like, hey, this guy's awesome. You know, check out the channel. I have the link below. You know, makes great videos. I enjoy them and stuff. I really don't tell them much about the person. So my shout outs are probably next to worthless. I think people who take the time to say, this is why you should check this person out and list off a bunch of reasons and, and explain to people why they like them and why you should subscribe to them. I think those ones are probably the most effective. But we don't really see a lot of those. I'm not really the type of person that does shoutouts like that either. But I think it's possible that if we want to see the effectiveness of the shoutout to increase a bit, it's probably better to you know sell the person on why they should you know sub this guy that you're shouting out. Another thing is the amount of people that are in each shoutout. Sometimes you'll see you know two or three people. You know sometimes just one. Other times you'll see 20 or 30 people in each shout out video. And I, I think it's clear that um, the less people you shout out in a video seems to be uh, the more effective that the video is. And I think the reason is, well, at least the reason for me is when I see somebody shout out, you know, 20 or 30 people, normally I'll be sub to, you know, half of them at least. And then the other half, I don't want to really sub to them all at once because then it's like an overflow of new people that I don't really know who they are and I kind of get confused with each other. So I, I'm not really, I don't really sub that a whole lot of people at one time. You know, I, I like to, you know, one to three a day is usually what I do. And I sub to anybody who subs to me if I know that they sub to me. So, um, you know, that's just because I think if somebody's nice enough to sub to me, I can at least check out what they're doing. So yeah, I think it matters the amount of people that get sh uh, get the shout out. And it uh, brings me to another last point is t some Tattoo Doorman mentioned. And that's that people forget to put the links to the channels in the description of the people they're shouting out, which is a huge part of the, <laughs> the shout out. I pretty much will never look the person up if the link isn't in there. Um, I just, I just don't do it. The link has to be there for me to click on it and then I'll, and then I'll, you know, subscribe to them. But if the link's not there, I don't feel like copying and pasting the name up in, you know, the YouTube search bar or, you know, the YouTube slash the, the name. And, you know, like Tattoo Door Man said, sometimes the name's spelled wrong. Sometimes there's numbers that people forget to put in. Sometimes they put the wrong numbers in. So it's really just not worth messing around with just put the link in there I know some people do put the link in after they just upload the video and forget to go get the link so they'll put it in after which is you know fine but uh, if I catch the video before you put the link in I'm you know I'm not gonna know to go back to it so it's probably best to try to have the link there before you upload the video another thing that I wanted to throw into the video really quick is when people ask me to give them a shout out it doesn't happen very often with me but I do hear from a lot of people that have a bit bigger channels than mine say that uh, they get a few people asking them for shoutouts, um, which is fine to me as long as I like the content that you put out. You know, if I'll check out your channel and if I if I like what you're doing and I like and I think other people would like it too, I'll, I'll for surely give you a shout out. You know, if it's a new person, I'm all about helping out new people and and letting people know that hey, there's a new person that I think you should check out and stuff. But I want it to be genuine. 
I don't want to just send people over there because, you know, you asked me to. I, I wanted, you know, the people that I'm sending over there to actually, you know, go over there because I think that they're going to like this person and that they're going to enjoy their videos. So I just, I just really want it to be, you know, a genuine thing and not just give them a shout out because, you know, they asked me to or whatever. Okay, so that's about it. Just wanted to throw my thoughts into the topic. Thanks to the Tattoo Doorman for uh, creating the video. And definitely check out the video that he made and his channel. Link in the description. And I'll see you guys later.